How to be a Nerf Sniper Many Nerf guns are designed for close combat fighting situations and suppressive fire. However, with dedication one can master the rare art of sniping. Sniper warfare is most effective when the shooter is able to deliver precise long-range fire on selected targets, creating casualties among enemy troops, slowing enemy movement, frightening enemy soldiers, lowering morale, and adding confusion to their operations all the while being hidden from sight. The strategic importance of the sniper in warfare cannot be measured simply by the number of casualties he inflicts upon the enemy, as realization of the sniper's presence instills fear in enemy troop elements and influences their decisions and actions. Part 1 Equipping Yourself 1. Gather Your Gear in terms of shooting equipment, choose from among a Nerf or Busby sniper rifle, a rangefinder, longshot CS, 6, and a nightfinder. Good sniper rifles are longshot CS, 6, longstrike CS, 6, and mega centurion. However, be wary that the centurion's accuracy is below the expectations of a sniper. Put foam on the piston hitter to silence the shot sound. 2. Get a ghillie suit. Bring a scope, too. However, good nerf snipers don't use scopes, as they do not help you aim from long distances. Ensure that you have any other attachments needed for the rifle. Have sufficient ammunition. 3. Prepare yourself. Stay in shape, you might need to run from an enemy. You need a good sidearm in case you do not have time to reload or need to shoot with a fast fire rate. Make sure you can use any gun and be good with it. You never know when you might need to be more than a sniper. 4. Try making a strap. If you own any Guitar Hero or Rock Band guitar, take off the strap. Put it on your gun by tying it to the area near the trigger. This works best for the long strike CS 6. 5. Bring a backup pistol. Night finders, Mavericks, and Elements are all welcome. 6. Load your Nerf gun, preferably the Nerf N, strike long shot CS 6 or the long strike CS 6. Put the scope on first. A better alternative is the Retaliator CS-12 with a long strike barrel and a buy, pod, and the Retaliator stock. Don't forget the scope. Use the smallest mags possible like 6, round mags. Part 2 Hiding Well 1. Pick a good hiding spot. Never have it in the open. Have cover and concealment all around you. Choose a space that you can move easily in, yet stay hidden in. 2. Find a vantage point on the battlefield with a covered infiltration exfiltration route. Basically, where you can exit and enter the sniper post without blowing your cover or giving away your hiding spot. Cover and concealment are key. Part 3 Sniping Successfully 1. Be patient. Most snipers at the beginning of their sniper career think they are going to get the most kills on the battlefield. Wrong, they actually get the least. Being a sniper is not glorious. It's basically you laying on your belly in a bunch of weeds, holding a very long gun. 2. Wait until the target is in range and in your sights. Ask a few questions. Is it one person, or is it a group? What is the wind speed? What range are you firing at? Can you been seen? The answer to that one should be N.O. 3. Turn 20 degrees in the direction of the wind. Nerf darts are heavily affected by wind speed and direction. The wind will carry the dart over to the target if done right. The stronger the wind, the more it will be affected. 4. Breathe in quietly and step quiet. 
A way to step quiet is to step heel first and then lower your foot down slowly. 5. Cock the gun slowly and take a deep breath. Once your breath reaches its natural pause, slowly take the shot. 6. Escape quickly if the target is around other people. They will be looking for you. If you want to take out the entire group, move 6, 12 feet away from your original firing spot. Then reload and shoot again. 7. Confirm the shot through your scope, in case another round is needed. This technique is best done with the use of a spotter. In situations of limited personnel, the turkey neck technique may be used. Spotters tell you where your target is, male or female, approximate feet, yards your target is away, and the wind speed and direction. 8. Reload Re, Acquire Always. 9. Claim your bounty and repeat the sniper approach against other targets. 10. After you take a few shots, move to another position. Never stand in a corner for more than three shots. If you do, and you get found, you will get destroyed. 11. Do not shoot your darts as far as you can. The dart slows before reaching its farthest point. Instead, shoot about 70% of your gun's max range, unless they would not see it coming. Tips Do not overuse any sniper hide, your position will be compromised, preventing further use. Look for other contacts before taking a shot. If you eliminate one unit, it is likely he was with someone especially when using bolt-action rifles aim for the target in back of the group, this will keep enemies guessing where the shots are coming from. Also, this will keep concealment against even other snipers. Never let you lose sight of the target it could be fatal, if you miss first then look to reload they could get cover and take you out by the time your sight are fixed. Practice shooting your rifle beforehand to accurately sight your weapon and gather DOPE, data of previous engagement, on distance and wind direction. Any Nerf gun can gain distance by defying gravity. Point your gun at a 45 angle to see your maximum distance and or take advantage of a tailwind. Extra ammo is handy, but a steady eye and proper breathing techniques can beat 1 out of 10 shots on any day of the week. Target detection, stalking, and shot judgment are critical to your team's survivability. Yet, it is not always if you can make the shot, but when you should. If you have an air restrictor modification to your weapon, this makes it much louder unless you have padding for the plunger, be aware of this. Wear gloves. Sore hands shake, so wearing gloves increases aiming skill. Hiding behind your mom's plants provides concealment, not cover. If you get a long shot, make sure it's blue, for it is harder to see blue than it is yellow. You can also paint blue a yellow one you have. Always lead a moving target. Make yourself one, two. Remove your weapon's air restrictor, allowing for greater distances. Getting a real two, five magnification scope is advised. If you don't want to do this, get a recon flip-up sight and one binocular piece and permanent marker a reticle on, then hot glue it to the flip-up site. Sometimes weapons that are meant as a sniper aren't the best snipers, the long shot actually doesn't preform too good and the long strike is better but isn't the best. Sometimes it is best to go with guns that aren't made as a sniper and add a scope on a tactical rail if you want and if it has a tactical rail, you could also get another weapon, such as a sling fire which can shoot up to 80 feet and is good for sniping. Always have a second person with you to cover you. Always have a sidearm and extra ammo for the sidearm and main weapon, this should increase the chance of winning. Warnings Never climb trees if you are seen by enemies while in a tree, you're screwed. Don't shoot each other in eyes unless wearing Nerf glasses. Be careful when you shoot. 
you could knock something over or break something. Don't shoot in public areas. Don't remove air restrictor if laws says otherwise. If you remove the air restrictor you are creating a dangerous weapon if it is used in close quarter battles. Things A Nerf gun Nerf regulated ammunition Nerf scope Six dart mags Backup Nerf pistol <laughs>